Hi, I'm Russell Peters. I'm here in Jordan on tour with my almost famous tour, and uh, I made a pit stop here at the Zatari refugee camp, and uh, I'm glad I did. You know, there's this misnomer in North America that all the refugees want to come to Canada or the United States. They don't want to go there. They really don't. don't. Don't flatter yourself so much. What they want to do is they want to go home. They've been shoved out of their homes and displaced out of their country. They're a very industrious people because, you know, they've made things out of nothing, literally made things out of nothing. These are just people that were put in a bad situation. You know, growing up, you know, in, in North America, you know, you see a certain projection of the Middle East that the news media wants you to see. And you come here and it's nothing like that at all. So, you know, they show you all the crazies, but they don't show you all the good things. They don't show you all the people that are just regular people that have families and children and are just trying to live a normal life. You know, they fixate on what they, America is more of a, we have all this, don't you want it? And the Middle East is like, we have it too, and we don't actually care about it. First of all, you know, you can sort of tell who's doing more than the others just by how many of their flags are everywhere. And I was uh, very happy to see lots and lots of Canadian flags everywhere. And, uh, you know, hats off to, to Jordan and the, and the Jordanians and, uh, and, and King Abdullah and everybody who, you know, made this happen. And it's not like they did a, they didn't half-ass it. They weren't like, yeah, come on in. Oh, you got to leave now. They, they let them in and they let it expand and expand. And it is what it is today. And it probably will expand a little more eventually. But, you know, with the help of Canada and the United States and Australia and whoever else is sending the, uh, the Italians, the Moroccans. It's not just the, the West, it's the Middle East is helping you guys as well. So the Syrian refugees, um, you know, I never really understood what it was like to be a refugee before. You know, you hear the term all the time and when you see it firsthand, it, and, and then to see the resiliency of the people, it's just, it's, it's an incredible thing to see. It's unimaginable, you can't really, you know, me telling you about it's not really gonna change your point of view on it, but uh, hopefully it gives you some sort of insight as to how I saw it and what I saw.